I was invited by FIDH to uh, testify at the European Parliament about the human rights situation in Bahrain. And of course, Bahrain is one of the countries where we rarely have information coming out and it's rarely being covered by international media. And so I went there to the EU Parliament and I testified about the human rights situation in Bahrain. And many of the members of the European Parliament were horrified by the facts that they heard that they did not really have an idea about. And it was to the extent of one of the parliament members actually approaching me after the session and telling me that she had decided to go on a trip to Bahrain because of what she had heard that day about the situation on the ground. And so sometimes you can see that direct influence of how these opportunities and speaking out through these platforms really can have an influence on changing the situation or at least bringing attention to the situation on the ground in Bahrain. For the human rights defenders in Bahrain in specific, but also across the Gulf, most of the time they feel like they've been uh, isolated and abandoned by the international community. They feel like there isn't really a sense of support and solidarity for them in their work, especially since they've risked everything, taking on you know the work of a human rights defender. And organizations like the FIDH really you know change that policy. They really change that feeling for human rights defenders. When we have members of FIDH you know coming out and speaking about people, I know that Nabil Raja, for example continuously talked about how much he appreciated the support that he was receiving through organizations like FIDH after his imprisonment and the fact that he's continuously imprisoned. And the fact that they continue to bring up his name in numerous platforms, including getting the president of France to speak about Nabi al case. We have such a long way to go when it comes to human rights in the Gulf, but it really makes me more hopeful that we will have a brighter future when I know that we have partners like FIDH who will continue to highlight human rights violations in our country.